and a good afternoon everybody and welcome back to Pacific Coast League Baseball. Today's the third game of our four game series between the visiting San Antonio Missions and your Omaha Storm Chasers. Two teams wrap this series up at 11.05 a.m. Missions return back home. So they'll take on the visiting Iowa Cubs in a three-game set. Following in, the Omaha Storm Chasers will come in after that for a seven-game homestand. Go online now and purchase and print your tickets from home. Also, don't forget to download the First Pitch app from Minor League Baseball. And you can download that in any smartphone. Well, we're here in Green Valley Stadium, home of the Omaha Storm Chasers. This beautiful, beautiful April day weather. One o'clock, our game time, partly cloudy skies, as we get ready for this third game of this four game series. Afternoon Baseball. Here is your defensive lineups for today's game. First for the San Antonio Missions. And here's your starting lineups. Defensive lineups for your Omaha Storm Chasers. And that is the starting lineups. Daytime here on MLB Network. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the San Antonio Missions and the Omaha Storm Chasers. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Number 32 will be on the mound for the away team in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Now to the plate, Sammy Sargent. He will lead this one off Leading today. Off for San Antonio, the designated hitter, Sammy Sargent. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And Aye. afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. First pitch, 1 o'clock. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. Batting second, the third baseman, Domingo. Now Zepeda. batting, Domingo Zapata, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a two seamer inside to start the at bat. It's one and oh. Well, I think that's a great spot for that pitch in on the hands. It wasn't a strike, but if he can command the movement in there, he's going to be very effective in this one. Nope. Two balls that's and no ball. strikes. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, 
I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Now the 2-0. 3 and 0 now. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The 3-0 pitch is laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, that 3-0 pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. Now a throw over, and he'll be back in standing up. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. That misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. Huge innings have begun third. with much less, the I can tell you that. First and Robert. second, no out. And the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Coming to the plate now, Robert White. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First offering on its way. In there, strike one. You're on the mound in this situation. You only have two options. You got to find a way to strike this next guy out or get him to ground into a double play. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. <laughs> Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And another foul ball. Another 0-2 home. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Time now to give you a look at the batting order batting for four. the visiting squad. The first base. Zero daytime Tyler. road game for him. What you got? Well, Matty, this lineup's going to have to find a way to score early. Get this pitcher uncomfortable. Stay on the attack. Get into the bullpen. That's the name of the game. They let this guy settle in. He'll breeze through seven strong. So first and second with one man gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of right-handed hitting Tyler Austin. He's set, and the pitch. Oh, and he had to be looking for something else to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. Sargent at second, Zapata at first, one gone. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1-1. One Ball called strike one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down, maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. That we'll see if it. he can feed off that the K, wiggle out of the jam, Number and keep this game tied. Now at the plate, number 12. He's ready for his first A-B here in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. And here's a fastball called for strike one.
Two men are on with two men out. Heading out towards shallow right. Bonifacio's in pursuit, but he won't get there. It falls in. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded that now with two gone. Ken, we fielder. didn't waste any time ben. getting things going yeah, here. Hold. Two outs and the base is loaded, and the next at bat could set the tone for the entire rest of the game. If he can get out of this mess without any damage, he's going to know he can shut the door all game long. And with this home crowd on his side, they'll be going wild, but that's a big if. First delivery to him on the way. Ball, Ball one. It's Ball moments one, like this as a pitcher when you feel the whole world is against you. You're already in hot water with the bases loaded, so it doesn't make life any easier when you're not getting calls that you think you should. Two out, bases loaded. Rip down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Line towards center field. McCauley is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. So a sigh of relief there as they work out a potential big trouble in the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Number 51 will be the one doing the pitching for the home side. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, you hate to go into game thinking that you're going to have to get the bullpen involved, but you may have to with this guy on the mound. He's not known for going very deep in the games. Very rarely does he go six innings or more, so this very well could be and one of those Johnny Holstaff days. Digging in, base Nelson base. Chin. Nelson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Chin. half of the first. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Gamble going back on it. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting and with second. that, here's a glance That's at the starting stop. lineup for the home Number squad. Two. Dero, what's your take on this team today? Well, Matty, you look at this lineup. The key to success is scoring early. Putting the other team on their heels and allowing their own pitcher to go out there and feel like he can execute his game plan and attack and stay in the zone. This offense needs to get on the board. Now at the plate, number two. He stands in for the first time in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting third. The if center you've got fielder, a good fastball going and they're not handling, Mick keep Colley. throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. Hey, gone. Into the box now, Curtis McCauley, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Peralta has a reputation or a knack, if you will, for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there. A lot of relief pitchers are known for that, obviously, but as a starter, that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Matty V, and I'm going to tell you who likes this. The bullpen likes it, and the manager likes this, because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of a start, and it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. 
Number 12 is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. And inning in the books, scoreless on MLB Network. In now, Jeremy Hawkins. As Antonio. the switch hitter will take the his right cuts left-handed here. Jeremy. Well, if you're looking for pop, Hawkins. he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. Zero. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. and two count here's the pitch pulled toward right center field and it's a fly out to start the second one away okay here's the defense Batting for the game. home team the and the average stop. big league shortstop Tyler. can make every play but can they make the highlight real play in order to do that you got to be able to put your back foot in the ground and absolutely unload from that 5.5 hole if you're playing shortstop. And that's what this guy does. He brings a different element to the game. He has got an absolute hand cannon. Now at the plate, Tyler Saladino. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. No score here as we play inning number two. This is popped up. Dives and he hangs on for the out. Wow. Batting nine. The catcher. Reggie Humphrey. Stepping up to the plate. He'll swing it from the left side right here. First pitch on its way. Good curveball there gets the swing and miss. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Dangerous curveball that time, but laid off as it drops into the top of the zone. Hey, he got away with that one right there. If he's going to live up there, spinning it up top of the zone, he's going to get hurt. This is in the air out to straightaway center. McCauley moves over. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jorge Bonifacio. And got He's set to lead off chasers, the home half of the, the second. Right fielder, Jorge. Ready to deliver. Here's Bonifacio. the first pitch. In there for strike one. Got him reaching there. Strike two. Oh, two is the count. That's a silver error on that one. And yep, on 0 2, he misses out. with a fastball. Ball. To two balls and two strikes two, 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 now. Kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Full count still. This isn't even close for ball four. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Pedro 
Melendez. Striding forward now is the DH. Pedro Melendez. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch. In there, 0 and 1. One and one. That's inside. The one two swing line drive that's going to be trouble and this one scoots all the way to the wall Bonifacio isn't stopping here he comes to the plate and he's safe at the plate as they take the lead no mistake that what exists. he was sitting on looking no for a dead there. red piece of cheese Girl. middle of the plate and he didn't Take miss go. it. Stepping in, Charles Sato. He's looking to make this a 2-0 game if he can perhaps get a ball airborne here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, Maybe right. trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. The 1-0 delivery. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. One one is a fastball oh, right down there. below the knees. Ah. Called strike two. Two and two. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. Melendez at third with nobody out. Rounded slowly to the left side. Saladino has it. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. And here with the Batting infield seven. back, they the were giving baseman. him the run on a ground Number ball. So he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Now with the plate, number 47. He'll get his first shot with the bat here. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And he'll step right. on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting eight. The catcher, Andrew Sousa. Coming to the plate now, Andrew Susak. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First offering on its way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Oh, 
one. Here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder has a beat on it. And that's the third out. So two runs on just one base hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Storm Chasers are on top, two to nothing. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Sammy Sargent. He reached on a single in his first hitter. try. Hey, we're Sammy. still in the early stages in this Sergeant. one. Only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls in one strike. And that misses one and one. It's one and two. And he had him set up perfectly there as he's not even close to touching that pitch. And on four pitches, he becomes out number one. Now Good job of Third making him there. chase a pitch for Don't the strike go. out there. Yeah, Matt, the that's beta. the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box, Domingo Zapata. He grounds it sharply to third. And there are two away now. Now batting, the second baseman. Robert White. Ready now, Robert White. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Nope. And oh, a ball, 1-0. Oh. Still one a little oh. bit early to be worrying about this, but in a two-run game, a two-out walk right here could at least get the tying run to the plate. And on top of that, there's some pop on that on-deck circle takes this the other way to right. Bonifacio is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. At the plate, Chris Wood, he'll get us going in the whole and half of up. inning number the three. One of the keys to securing the a win, man. they want to keep Rip. the pressure on and try Wood. to build that lead as much as they can moving oh, into the later ball. innings. Ball one to start the at-bat. Now the 1-0. Popped up. Austin is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. The first baseman, Nelson Chin. Striding in, Nelson Chin. He flew out in his last at bat. Here it comes. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. One out, nobody on. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Two, two balls, no strike. The 2-0 on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gamble is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Now batting. Number two. Standing in, number two. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line to the right side. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Now batting, center fielder, Curtis. 
McCauley. Digging in for his second at bat, Curtis McCauley. And now following the two out double, he's got a chance to drive in a run here. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Here's Tyler Austin now. He's over one for thus far. San Antonio. The first baseman, Tyler Austin. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Strike two is that's taken on the outside part of the plate. on it one gone that's a pretty unique pitch sequence guys now usually that, pitching is all about mixing 12. pitches and location but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout he offered the same pitch three times in a row so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent standing in now number 12 as he drives a liner to right center. And a diving effort, but the ball kicks off the right fielder's glove. The throw into second. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. Now batting. Dan, are you the even concerned fielder. about that? You've ben. been pitching out at a wind-up yeah. ball game, and now Ooh. you have to go to the stretch. Uh, it can be a concern sometimes, Debra, but you try to in between starts to make sure that you throw enough pitches out of the stretch, and he's been out of the wind-up most of the game, so we'll see how he reacts here after this base hit. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. McCauley comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Now batting, right fielder. Jeremy Hawkins. At the plate, Jeremy Hawkins. He's set. Here it comes. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. The 1-0 is looked at for ball number two. No that was a non-competitive pitch right there, and he finds himself behind 2-0 in this situation. He's going to have to locate something down the zone to get himself back in this count. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. 2-1 and one now. Three and one. I know this team has been struggling offensively, but here's a perfect situation with a three-one count. You have a chance to do some damage. You know you're getting a guaranteed fastball. The three-one. This ball will be chopped foul. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. 
A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jorge Bonifacio. And he scored off. after reaching Corbin on a walk Chaser, in his first at bat. The right fielder, Jorge Bonifacio. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. The 1 1 home is a fastball that misses. The 2 1 home. It's the outside corner for the second strike. Here now the 2 2. A shot down the first baseline. A dive, but it's off his glove. Throw so won't get him. The batter, number 15. Designated hitter, Pedro. Melendez. Digging in the switch hitter, Pedro Melendez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right Aye. here. And that's in there for strike one. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well. And one of the Aye. reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. Here's the 0 and 2. Fastball one well two. outside. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing the bat at that pitch. Fastball ah. called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a now bad batting. time to check Left out our fielder. pitch speed comparison Throw. for our two starters. Think and so. you can see both guys bringing it pretty good in this one. 95 on one hand, 92 on the other. So striding in, Charles Sato. He got on top of one and was a ground out ah. victim last time. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Ball two. off and a fastball blew it right by him and they're two down that's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance now that batting. leadoff single in Number the scoring 47. position yeah clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now Matt he's taking control this inning after giving up that hit now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. Ball That's one. Inside. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. And here's Tyler Saladino. Leading off for San Antonio, the shortstop, Tyler 
Saladino. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. The wind up and the 0 1. Off the plate oh, and in. Play. It's a ball and a strike. That's a tough pitch to throw right there. That front door curveball. Just missed hitting that inside corner. That's a very difficult pitch. I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away. And unfortunately, that one stayed inside. Now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two. Clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was pretty much center cut and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. Skied into straightaway right. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. The catcher, number 33, Reggie. Humphreys. Digging in, Reggie Humphreys. Here comes the first pitch. Well, didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. May have gotten a piece of that one, but no matter, it's one and one. The one one misses ball two. Ball two. Now the 2-1 is in there for the second strike. That's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Three and two, full count. One out, nobody on. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now batting, the designated hitter, Sammy. Now back to the top of the Sergeant. lineup. Stepping in, Sammy Sargent. One for two on his line so far in the game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three on a nice dig at first, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Into the box now. Andrew and we stop. Both the sword for him here in this one. The catcher. Andrew line shot to Too first fast. and there's one away now batting the second baseman Chris Wood in now Chris Wood as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Soft liner towards first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. The first baseman, Nelson Shin. Ready for another shot now. Nelson Chin. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hopped high in the air. Saladino moving to his left. And that's the third out.
Digging in once again, Domingo Zapata. He'll start Sam things Antonio, out now in the top half the of the sixth. Baseman. Domingo Zapata. First pitch coming. Here it is. In there, and it's 0-1. Line drive to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. He'll get it into second. But it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Finally, a little something for now them to get excited about. The yeah, a rally can begin with the Robert. single swing of the bat, and what? this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat, at a time stepping in now Robert White as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field uh, and that's gonna fall a base hit and they'll put the brakes on at third runners at the corners with nobody out the batter hey, this has the makings the first of baseman. being a pretty big inning d row leadoff double Austin. now a base hit and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third yeah sometimes you wake up you just get smacked in the mouth right here he's gonna have to start executing oh. pitches he cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here he's gonna have damage on his hands First pitch of the at bat. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone. So if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. And it's fouled away. take something off but it's one and two now these are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform the big spot the cat and mouse of what's he gonna throw I'm down one two can I battle back the pitchers trying to put me away this is what the game's all about nope. just a bit low tough call but it's two and two hey great job right there anytime you're down 0-2 I think it's a successful at bat if you can work it back to an even count and at least give yourself a chance. The 2-2. Two -two. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he will somehow keep his eye on the baseball there as he has it for a big out number one. The batter, number 12. So striding forward now, number 12. Two base hits, both singles to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing and one. First and third, you know he's going to do everything he can on the mound to roll up a double play ball. On the other side, he's got to be looking for a mistake up in the zone that he can drive in the air and pick up a sack fly at the very least. One and one the count. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Now the one and one pitch is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. This is flared out towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. The batter, the left fielder, Ben Gamble. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But the recovery is too late at first, and the run is in to score. 
the right fielder, number 14. And time will be called here as the Jeremy pitching coach heads out to the mound and Hawkins. hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. So stepping in, Jeremy Hawkins, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Come set, the 0-1. And it's one and one. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Pulled toward right center field. McCauley on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Storm Chasers lead it two to one. Digging in and looking for more, number two. And one for two off. with a for double the on the ledger chasers. so far. The shortstop. First delivery number to him two. on the way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting center fielder Curtis McCauley. Striding in once again, Curtis McCauley. First offering on its way. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. The hitter in this situation has to understand that this pitcher is on the attack, looking for a quick inning. If there's something in the heart of the plate, you better pull the trigger on it. Behind 0-2 now. Low-scoring game thus far. 2-1 to one here in the sixth. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, 1-2. and two. He's going to find out quickly. Guys are even more selective up here in AAA. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that right four-seam fastball. So Jorge. I think he wasn't expecting Bonifacio. it at all. Bonifacio. And that'll bring up Jorge Bonifacio as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and A ball and a strike. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Two out, nobody on. Hit out towards second. Backhanded. And the throw is wide as he couldn't keep his foot on the bag that time. And we'll have to see the how they want to score 15. that play. Designated yeah, hitter. nobody on right there, Pedro. Dan. Two outs. It's not Low every day you see a guy pick him up and put him down like him getting down to first base right there. Bought himself a base hit. Well, I'd say what if you there's a couple of things you can do. It doesn't take a lot of talent to hustle and doesn't take talent to be on time. And he hustled out of the box, turned what could have been a, la a ground out to end the inning into an infield single. He's set and the pitch. 92 splits the plate, oh and it's strike one. Well, that was a big two-out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons, the inning went from totally under control to now. 
He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a one runner ball, on base, right. and this is how two-out rallies start. One and one the count now. Now the one and one pitch Dude, is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. The one two is in Ball. off the plate. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Gets him looking up around the letters. Back for Pacific Coast League action on MLB Network. It's on to the seventh inning now, but before the inning gets started, let's fill you in on what you may have missed. It's our game summary to this point. Settling in now, Tyler Saladino. He'll start the seventh, and Dan is a Leading former pitcher for yourself. You must be enjoying this. Lots of good top. pitching and defense Tyler. today. Oh, that's one Saladino. of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. But there's your textbook waste pitch right there. Try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. Swing on and miss. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, catcher, in a one-run game, especially this late, Reggie. getting that first guy in Humphrey. the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Digging in, Reggie Humphreys. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there at the letters 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Whoa. Tried to throw the fastball by One him, ball. but it's high. Two One and straight. two. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0-2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off-speed curveball down in the zone. 2-2 two and two the count. Two-two two pitches fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. McCauley is under it. Two gone. Now batting. Designated hitter. Sammy Sargent. Next will be the designated hitter. Sammy Sargent. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lays off 1 and 0. Called strike at the knees. 1 and 1. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. 2 to 1 our score. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Called 
called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Put that cookie down now. Here's a drive out to left center field. He's around first, heading for two. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Now Man, I don't think he could have Third bisected basement. those fielders the any Mingo. better if he tried. Drove the that Peter. one into the alley for a gapper that'll bring him easily into second base. Now out of the dugout comes the manager as he'll make his way towards the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run Ladies comes across to score. Ivan Lerma will get the ball here as he looks to get the, out to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Number three, Ivan Lerma. Into the box now, Domingo nope. Zapata. Nope. As he'll no. take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Sargent stands at second with two gone. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Giving chase is Bonifacio, but he can't get there, and this might tie up the game. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's now a 2 2 ball game. You know, D Row, in today's it. game, it's the not easy base. scoring in the Robert. late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Into the box, Robert White, as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. He's working on a one for three thus far. A one pitch on its way, and they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. Zapata blows through the stop sign, headed for home. Safe at the plate as it's now a 3-2 ball game. Boy, those have to feel really good, d -Row. You just get late in the now game, you come up with a big base. RBI base hit Tyler. right here to give your Austin. team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Into the box now, Tyler Austin. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. The 0-1 offering. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Hey, two tough pitches right there and expect more of the same. With that guy standing out on second base, you don't want any RBI scoring right here. With that base open at first, he's going to grind out and try and get this guy to swing at something outside the zone. Stays alive, still 0-2.
Here's the 0-2. In the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. One and two. Here it is. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Popped up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The missions lead it three to two. Riding into the box, Charles and Santo. Up for He'll the try and get chasers. something started in the whole the half fielder. of the seventh. Charles. This thing's far from over, Thank even though you. we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this off thing up. Ball one. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but now probably batting. too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Here's the first pitch to him. No. And that misses for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Line toward center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, one of the things that makes it so tough to pitch is you consistently have it. to make good pitches. Even on 2-0, and and you just can't lay one right down the Who's middle. Yeah, I'm sure he wanted to nip a corner right there, but hats off challenge in 2-0 in a fastball count. He came and got some. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball, First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Skipper out of the dugout making the slow trek to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Your Diego attention, please. Morbone takes now the call from the pen Dennis as he'll try to get the final two Number outs one. of this seventh Diego. frame. Morbone. tight ball game three to two our score in inning number seven in the air deep down the left field line Gamble sprinting after it and he makes the catch in the corner now batting second baseman Chris Wood so a pivotal moment here and digging in now Chris Wood and he does so representing the possible go ahead run From the stretch. 
Pulled the one fastball out. down a little too much there. That's ball one. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. A runner on first with two away. One one is a ball one. below the zone. Count is two and one. Line drive to left. Gamble is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One hit, one left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. San Antonio's out in front, three to two. Cliff Jackson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. And digging in to try it again. Number 12. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one. Number 12. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. And he is cruising now. It's 0 and 2. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Wow, tough to lay off the fastball there, but it's one and two. The one two. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. A look there at the numbers for our two starters here today. With both guys field. recently departed Dang. from the ball game and looking Gamble. on from the dugout. So coming to the plate, Ben Gamble. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The ball. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Jackson, 23 years old, he throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, a two-seamer, and a splitter. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. And 2-0 as this one's taken low. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. Counting out of two balls and a strike to Ben Gamble. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90 percent of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No the problems right field, for him on the mound field. since he's come out of the pen to start Jeremy. this inning. That's back-to-back -back oh, yeah. K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. First delivery to him on the way. 
hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a fastball oh, off the out. plate away. A ball and a strike. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting the barrel to the baseball. Lays off two and two now. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Hit to third. He's right there. Throw in time on the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The missions lead it 3-2. to two. Standing in, Nelson Chin. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear and that the off. plan of attack well, against the top of the order has the worked. First baseman. Well, when you've only Nelson. surrendered one hit to the top three Chin. guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Now batting, number two. Stepping into the box, number two. He's working on a one for three thus far. First delivery to him on the way. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. One out, nobody on. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Line to the right side. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. And he's going to get there. And he's in at third now as the tying run after the one-out triple. Of course they now feel good it. about the triple, the but I know fielder. how managers Heard think it. it. He's in the dugout Mick wishing Holly. that triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this oh, one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. One ball, no strikes to count. Swing and a fly ball. And this should at least get home the tying run. The catch is made. Here comes the tying run from third. And that will plate the tying run from third as we've got ourselves a brand now that, new ball right game field. now. That Four was head. a really good at that right there. You're Watch trying you to tie this thing up any way that you can. He hits the sack fly to the outfield, and the tying run comes in to score. First pitch on its way. I started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Two out, nobody on. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I, I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. But the tying run has come across here as we're set up for an exciting finish. We've played eight full, and we are all tied at three apiece. Your Prince attention, please. Weinstein will be on now the mound pitching. to start the ninth Omaha inning, and his job Jason will be keeping the ball game tied three. until the bottom half. Prince Weinstein. Stepping into the box, Tyler Saladino. He'll try and lead things off Leading here off in inning number San nine. Antonio. The shortstop, Tyler Saladino. And this pitch is popped straight up right around the home plate area. And he'll stay with him here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Now batting. Stepping up the now, catcher. Reggie Humphreys. Reggie. 
Humphrey. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. And he takes ball one. Ball one, no strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. To first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. The designated hitter. Sammy Sargent. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Sammy Sargent. He's two for four in the ball game. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball. Ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1-1. One and one. Oh, Had him off stride that time, and it's 1-2. and two. For the most part, he's looked really locked in at the plate in this game. Not so much on that swing, though. 1-2 on its way. And he lays off it to even the count 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Susak corrals it, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth, and we are all tied at three apiece. Now in the box, Pedro Melendez. He got and called out on strikes his last chasers. time through. Yeah, the Matt, and hopefully he got it out of his Pedro. system. Especially now, he's Melendez. got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. The windup and the 0-1. In there, and it's 0-2 now. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Can't say that I see the logic in this one, but they'll go ahead and intentionally walk the leadoff batter. Now batting, left fielder. Ready once Charles. again, Charles Sato. The winning run is at first base. Here's the first pitch. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Possible winning run aboard here, nobody out. And he lays off for ball one. Hot shot toward third. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. The batter, number 47. Digging in now, number 47. The winning run at second. However, the double play in order here. Here's the first pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. A possible winning run on second. No one out. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Now the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Swing, and he pops him up. And that'll drop into no man's land out there for a base hit. And they're going to walk off with a 4-3 victory. And your home team, Storm Chasers, win it <clears throat> for this Sunday Always afternoon. Great when a game really comes down to the ninth inning like it did here, they had a chance to walk it off and send their fans home happy, and that's exactly what they did. Lots of smiles around here right now.
in a close game like this, you look for that one guy who produced when it mattered most, and this is the guy. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The Omaha Storm Chasers came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Prince Weinstein pitches well enough to get the W. So that's a wrap for us here this afternoon. For Mark, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Fans, our final line score. First, for the victorious Omaha Storm Chasers, four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.